shocking YNR revelations, Lily fires Daniel and Heather, Victoria's unexpected offer to Claire, and Phyllis's fiery reaction. In a jaw-dropping turn of events on The Young and the Restless, Lily makes a bold move by firing Daniel and Heather, sending shockwaves through Genoa City. Meanwhile, Victoria stuns everyone with an unexpected offer to Claire, leaving hearts racing and questions lingering. But as tensions rise, Phyllis unleashes her fiery reaction to the chaos, sparking new conflicts and alliances. Don't miss the explosive drama as secrets unravel and relationships are put to the test on Y&R. Tune in to witness the drama unfold in the most unexpected ways. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. After watching these videos, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. When Lily fires Daniel and Heather, Victoria makes an unexpected offer to Claire, and Phyllis reacts. The young and the restless today Victoria and Cole go down memory lane, Mariah and Tessa find cause for celebration, and Daniel is persuaded to fight back by his loved ones. Editors have independently selected all of the goods and services that are listed. On the other hand, Soaps.com might get paid a commission for orders made through its retail links, and the retailer might get some data that can be audited for bookkeeping purposes. Cole and Victoria talk about Jordan being missing and Claire going out alone at society. Cole is certain that her hiding won't last. Victoria bemoans the fact that she is wicked and devilish. Cole informs Victoria that Claire cannot be kept in a bubble. Her goal is to discover her position in the world. Cole encourages Victoria to be patient with their daughter, Mariah and Tessa show up by the bar. That's exactly what Victoria wanted to hear, she tells him. Mariah and Tessa squeal and say, yes, at that moment. Victoria is curious as to the purpose of that. As Cole and Victoria arrive, they inquire as to the girls' celebration. Mariah and Tessa report that today was the closing day for their new home. It contains a loft that may be used as a music studio, a large playroom for Aria, and a yard. In Mariah's ear, Tessa whispers. They're talking about their house, and Victoria recently lost hers, so she apologizes. Victoria comforts them, saying she's glad for them. Tessa remarks that Aria's first home will always be the tack house. Time to move on, but it will not be easy. Cole remembers that Victoria and he used to share that residence in the past. Mariah invites them to come see it and split a bottle of bubbly. How do you feel about taking a trip down memory lane? Victoria asks Cole. Billy greets Phyllis as she walks into the jazz lounge and invites her to hang out at the bar. With a, a maybe another time, Phyllis says. Billy offers to have one of her homemade hangover remedies delivered to her room, just in case. He's not reading the room, Phyllis gripes. Billy reasoned that she might come out of her funk with a little back and forth. Phyllis mentions his conflict with the Winters family. They label you as difficult when you try to get some love and respect and fail at every turn. Billy assumes that they are not discussing him. Phyllis doesn't give a damn if she comes across as tough. Billy assures her that he would be all right at work and that she should worry about her son. Phyllis wants to know what occurred because she hasn't spoken to him. Billy believes that she is aware of Daniel and Heather's reconciliation. Phyllis acts as though she did, then claims achievement. Billy tells her to be careful while praising herself since there could be consequences not just to the business, but also to the individuals concerned. Similar to Lily. She was the last to find out, and as you can understand, she's struggling with it. Phyllis finds out that Devin and Lily talked about dismissing Heather and Daniel. Phyllis thinks this is ridiculous. Daniel's baby is called Omega Sphere. Lily is that little. She goes on to say, you don't turn into a snake and go for the throat, and that if someone wants to end a relationship, you should let them go and wish them success. 
you don't prioritize getting even over seeking retribution. That is really childless. Billy looks at her, astonished. Shut up, snaps Phyllis. Devon and Lily, according to Phyllis, are inebriated with power and have no business abusing her son. Billy exposes his infidelity to Lily. This is nothing new, Phyllis scoffs, pointing out that everyone in the town has done it. Lily and Devon have shared their fair share of romantic sorrow. It is outrageous to treat Daniel and Heather this way when they are attempting to reunite their family. Heather reminds Daniel at Crimson Lights that they must never forget that their family has come together. And we're unemployed, groans Daniel. They begin to worry about money and require a future plan. Heather is going to give Michael a call to find out who is recruiting and whether Christine has any openings for her. She wishes for Daniel to discover a passion project, such as Omega Sphere. Heather is certain that he will perform better than anybody they appoint to oversee it. It feels as though a piece of him is gone. Daniel concurs, saying that the platform saved his life. Even if I tried, I couldn't replace it. Daniel is concerned about what might happen to Princess Louisa and the game. He is reminded by Heather that all they did was rekindle their romance, and Lily will hold them accountable for it. Perhaps there's a chance we could get it back, she thinks. Daniel has a good feeling Lily isn't in the mood to give. Heather says they must give it their best, if not for the platform then at least oh for Lucy's sake, Princess Louisa. Although Daniel doesn't want to annoy Lily, Heather believes she has every right to be furious with him personally but not to pursue his company or creation. She requests to view the agreement. We have a case here. Daniel believes it's going to be embarrassing. He deserves to keep his goal, Heather says him. Phyllis texts Daniel to ask to get together for a drink. He lets Heather know that he doesn't want to hear his mother scold him this evening. Heather counters that she most likely just wants to offer them encouragement and congrats. Daniel consents to depart. Cole and Victoria tell Claire at the ranch that they would like to show her where it all started for them. Cole, Victoria, and Claire are welcomed into the tack house by Mariah and Tessa. They clarify that they went to see their former residence with their daughter. People make introductions. Claire is reassured by Mariah that she doesn't need to apologize to them because they have done a lot of things throughout the years that they are ashamed of. They discuss spending a night together. Though Cole is amazed at the changes, it seems as though time has stopped. This is where he and Claire's mother fell in love, he tells her. While Mariah and Tessa excuse themselves, Aria tears upstairs. Victoria asks Cole what's on his mind while Claire roves around the kitchen. I live here, too, he thinks to himself. They enjoy themselves quite a bit. And a few that weren't too great. Claire listens as they talk about a snowball fight that ended with Cole leaving the home without any pants on. Claire queries the topic of their disagreement. They chuckle, saying it was probably a dumb mistake. We were only children. Claire finds the location appealing. I can see you two being content here. Claire requests to hold Aria when Mariah and Tessa reappearance with her. Claire wants to hear more of Cole and Victoria's stories, so she thanks them for including her at the ranch. Cole muses that having her was ultimately a result of his stay there. Claire observes Victoria has been incredibly silent. Is everything all right? Cole claims that when Victoria has an idea, she gives off a distinct face. He can still read her, Victoria smirks. This may be amazing, but it might also seem a little crazy. How would you feel about making the tack house your home? Claire asks if she did something wrong, surprised that she wants her to move. She is informed by Victoria that you would be moving there with me. Claire says, oh, with a smile. Victoria tells her that they are related. Cole feels that's a really good concept. They will remain under guard on the Newman property.
When Katie and Johnny return home for spring vacation, Victoria can't wait to see their older sister. She has filled them in on everything. It amazes Claire that she has siblings. A little overwhelming, that is. Victoria claims that Mariah and Tessa's move gave them the impression that they were receiving a house from the universe. You can invite Cole as frequently as you'd like. So, when can we move, inquires Claire. Victoria gives her a hug. Later, outside, Victoria and Cole reflect on the approaching spring and the balmy weather. As they recollect about the previous disagreement, he puts his arm around her shoulders. Our reunions were always really nice. Regarding the tack house idea, he believes she made the proper decision. Victoria believes they have a second opportunity with their daughter. Cole tells Victoria that she is a wonderful mother and a remarkable woman. I feel like I cry a dozen times a day because of you. As if to kiss her, he leans forward. He says, I better get going, keeping their heads close together. Victoria expresses gratitude to him for tonight. You know, having you in my life has changed everything and I never want to go back to the way things were, he tells her after having a terrific time. That's all I needed you to know. Billy tells Phyllis at the jazz club not to get too worked up over Lily firing Daniel just yet since she might have changed her mind. Phyllis continues, claiming that Omega Sphere is Daniel's invention, and she predicts that she will also be removed from the division. When the moment is right, she's confident they'll also kill Billy. Look at the happy couple, says Phyllis as Heather and Daniel enter. She gently pokes fun at Daniel for not telling her that they were back together and claims that she and Billy also talked about the possibility of their employment being in jeopardy. Daniel states unequivocally that Lily was the one who pulled the trigger. Both of us have been formally sacked. Billy claims he had no say in that choice. Daniel finds that quite appreciative. In Heather's opinion, Daniel ought to resist in order to keep Princess Louisa. Phyllis concurs. Billy feels the same way. Lily and Devon are behaving irrationally, which is bad for the business. Daniel is told by Heather, we're all behind you. Tessa and Mariah talk about Claire discovering her parents at a late age, similar to what happened to Mariah, in the tack house. Tessa recalls that everything was resolved between her and Sharon. They discuss whether to retain Tad the plush elephant. In the new location, they will have fresh memories and keepsakes. They share a kiss. Is everything all right? Victoria queries Claire at the ranch. Claire agrees, but Victoria is concerned that they are moving too quickly. Claire is happy, but she also feels bad about how much she has altered her own life. Nothing matters more to Victoria than her, she claims, this is her life. If she's ready to return to Newman, Claire queries. That's not Victoria yet. Claire inquires about Cole. Victoria says they want to spend this time with her because they have missed so many years together. Claire can't help but wonder whether they are more than just friends. Victoria speculates that revisiting the former location evoked recollections. Of when you were happy and in love? Claire queries. Victoria grinned. Thanks for watching this videos. Please hit the subscribe button for more updated news.